Ang hirap mag- Ang hirap na ng spelling, ang hirap pa ng pronunciation niya. So, ayun na 'yon. <laughs> So, a pair of Cartier earrings. Actually, old pa to because the new one has the closure na. This one still has the gap, so it means it's really old. When I started getting extra money from what I was doing, when it started to get revenues already, it's, I know, it's so dirty now. <laughs> but I, I didn't even dare touch it, even if it's really dirty because this is my very first pair of Manolos, and it was given to me by Morgan herself for my birthday. I think it was in 2016 or something when she gave this to me. So my seventh purchase is really uh, very remarkable because I love everything that's limited. Something that has a story because I'm a very sentimental person even though I don't quite reflect or show it a lot and I've always dreamed of having one before but you know it took a lot of time for me to save up and get myself one. This is a Chanel Minadre <laughs> or Mina Minadre <laughs> Minadre ganun. It's mostly offered to top client for you to have the opportunity to order one or to get one because they don't make a lot or produce a lot of these things in a year. So, in this particular region, they only have two legs. It's really very rare for a person to have it. So, I hold it so close to my heart that I save it for special occasions like my 30th birthday. Um, it's the first time that I threw up a party. A very intimate one. It was written on a lot of pages. In magazines, it was featured, and this bag was featured also. Because I didn't celebrate my 18th birthday, so when I turned 30, I thought that maybe it's time for myself to give a little party or you know to celebrate. And that was also the 10th year of Love Lock. So everything has a story. So I wore this on my 30th birthday, wore this on the 10th anniversary of Love Locks, and you know every time there's something special, it's my go-to bag because you know it stands out. My eighth. Purchase is actually matagal yung nagipunan also. Yun nga, I told you that there's just something about Van Cleef that makes me feel like a royalty. So, kinumpleto ko yung collection. And this one is one of the remarkable buys because I turned 30. So, it took me quite some time for me to be able to buy something like this. It's the 20 Leaf Clover Mother of Pearl Van Cleef Alhambra Collection. So, it's a must-have for you as a collector to have one piece, like the 10-piece, 20-piece, but the most that they have is like is the 20-piece. It's just a very classic. It's a classic that I can pass on to the next generation, which is my, my child. Always when I purchase something that's very expensive, I always think about the value of it in the future. Always, and even in my practice as a consultant, that's what I always have in mind. The, the purchase versus uh, how long are you going to use it or how long it's going to last you if it's really worth your investment or not because at some point we have to admit that these things also appreciate over time especially these days. When I was 30, I was kind of splurged. So I felt like I needed to reward myself. So I bought medyo a lot 30 years ago. When I was 30, I was just sabay -sabay sila. And they are all remarkable at the same time. Not only because I was 30, but it was really a turning point of my life. After having undergone a lot of, you know, trials that year, I told myself that making that year alone was entirely successful enough for me. That was the standard of success for me, being happy on my 30th birthday and the 10th anniversary of Love Locks as a brand standing still, being there, being able to deliver up to this point is really something that I have to celebrate and I have to mark it with something that is very remarkable. Paulit ulit yung remar remarkable. Haya amin yun na. <laughs> this is a vintage watch that I bought in Tokyo. I have a friend there who lives there, so I told you I have people na rin everywhere that can buy the things that I need. I wanted to buy a watch because um, it's also one of my weaknesses and investments too. That over the years, if there's a big thing to celebrate, I buy myself a watch. I buy my mama a watch. I buy people that I love a watch. So, paglabta. 
Pero really, like yung, ano, yung mga anak ko now, I think of them. No, I, I'll buy this because the long run this will be for my my little boy. This will be for my little girl, justifying my buying. Also, they are investment pieces for me. If you come to think of it, so I bought myself this, the Cartier Panther, in solid gold, and it's fully paved with diamonds. They don't make the uh, pave na inside. Binalik nila to just this year I saw na fully paved pati yung mga straps kasi for a time they discontinued it and then they brought it back this year but yung loob wala ng diamond so ito pinahanap ko talaga siya kasi ayoko nang papagalaw mo yung loob para ipa-custom made i wanted it to be the antique one na merong button na sa loob so yung consistency ng diamonds niya uh, the same pare-pareho siya so I bought it. It was a splurge, but it was definitely worth it. Made my friend fly. So I got a bear. 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 I this kind of things na hindi ginalaw sa labas, eh, meron ako kahit, ano, even though the movement is quartz, kasi nga, vintage na siya. Ayun, nakalagay talaga siya, naka-engrave talaga siya sa ilalim. That, uh, solid gold siya, and, but it's quartz. And it's okay because it's really what I love. And then my 10th, that's actually not here with me, but I have the photos of it. It's a whole collection, ha? <laughs> I'm really a Chanel girl. Fan na fan talaga ako, bata pa ako. It's the whole collection of the last design of Karl Lagerfeld. It's it's not here, baka na sa condo or elsewhere. This one and the, the earrings, they remade after he died. But the necklace never. Hindi na sila gumawa talaga. So they are pretty remarkable for me. And I waited months after the, after the show for after the runway show show for me to get it kasi right after ilabas ng pagkamatay niya um order na ako kasi alam ko last niya na yun i wanted something from his last to you know be a part of me and in the next few episodes if meron <laughs> i'm going to show you um more of that history that i have and you know everything that really has a story i get to share with you the barret it's a runway piece the necklace and the and the earring you know Sabi ko nga kahit gumawa sila ulit niyan ngayon, uh, iba na. Because iba na yun eh. Uh, hindi yan yung kasama dun sa batch na ginawa ni the Carl Lagerfeld. So, there you have it. My top 10 most remarkable things, buys, and gifts that were given to me by people who are very uh, close to me, dear to me, and are very sentimental. Uh, everything has a story behind it. So, those are my top 10. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today. But before I end it, I have one very special um, thing this year that, you know, it was like a reminder to me during a time like this na parang, oops, don't stop. You're doing what you're doing best and you have to push your limits because, you know, you make people happy. I was given this uh, alongside a letter. This was posted on my IG. It was from Givenchy. They were thanking me for partnership. Um, we had a, uh, a deal and I delivered. And they gave me a notebook. And I was the first one alongside some of the royalties that, you know, were chosen to have the Givenchy small Antigona bag. So they made this in time for the 10th year anniversary of the Antigona bag. So it's still like the same old Antigona, but it's more soft, more easy to wear without the structured limitations to it. So it's easy to use, you know, parang more relaxed, more chill. Actually, it's more me than the older one. So I really love it. Just like a pick me upper during a time where I was thinking, am, am I still doing things right? Am I still okay? So when I was given this, every time I ask myself those questions, laging may darating na something na parang tinapaalala sa akin ni Lord na nandiyan ka, dyan ka lang. May purpose ka dyan. When I was asking myself that question this year, when everything is uncertain, 
that thing that came up all of a sudden was, you know, the sign for me to, you know, keep on pushing, to keep on doing what I'm doing, and keep on doing what I do best to a different level this time. In the middle of it all, I braved it. I have been doing these things. It might be harder these days, but I promise to deliver. I deliver. I do the things that I love. I still do the consultancy. There's technology anyways, so you get to FaceTime with your clients one-on-one. -on -one. You can do it on a daily. It's easier to keep in touch with them, even without the physical appearance uh, of you next to them. Ayan, tapos na talaga. <laughs> Thank you very much, and I hope you learned a thing or two today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And click the red bu bell button right there. <laughs> you, you get to be notified with whatever it is that I'm going to, to be doing next if, you know, if it's permitted to share more. So, also don't forget to comment what you want me to feature in the, in the next um, episode should we have more of it. Thank you, and don't forget to spread love and kindness all the time in a time like this. Bye!